Hello and welcome to the Chow Bella Midnight Spell mini album tutorial series designed for Scrap and Create. All of the products that are available on the Scrap and Create website are linked in the description box below so you can click on those links, purchase those products to follow along. Let's get started. In today's tutorial we are going to begin with page three. This is the eight by eight paper that is going to be the inspiration for the page. So I have cut this to five and three quarters. Don't worry about this measurement for now. You don't need this until later, just showing you what I'm doing. This is the piece that I'm going to be using for the front of my page. The first piece that I have measures six and a half inches by seven and a half inches. On the six and a half inch side, I'm going to score this at one half inch on the left hand side. Then I'll take my scissors and miter the ends on that half inch tab section. Then I cut a piece to four and a half inches by seven inches. On the seven inch side, I'm going to score this at one half inch along the top edge. Then I'm going to take my scissors and miter the ends on that half inch tab. I have a piece that measures four and a half by seven and a half. Now on the four and a half inch side, I'm going to score this at one half inch on the right hand side. Then I will use my scissors to miter the ends on the half inch tab section. This piece measures two inches by seven and a half inches. Now on the two inch side, I'm going to score this at one half inch on the right hand side, then use my scissors to miter the ends of the half inch tab section. I've cut this piece to three and a half by six and a half. No scoring is needed. This piece is cut to four and a half by six and a half. Again, no scoring is needed for this piece. Using my bone folder, I'm going to go ahead and score on all of these lines, or I'm going to go ahead and burnish on all of these score lines. And then I will come back and show you how to put all of these pieces on your page. I'm going to take my six and a half by seven and a half inch piece, and I'm going to place my adhesive on that half inch tab section. Now I have my centering ruler here. I did also mark on my page three and three quarters of an inch from the center and I'm going to place this score line along the edge of my page on the left hand side and then burnish this down. Next, I have my seven inch by four and a half inch piece. I'm going to apply my adhesive to my half inch tab section here. Now I'm going to use my centering ruler so that I can place this here on the center, two and a quarter inches from center on each side, and then lining up my score line with the top edge of the flap. With my four and a half by seven and a half inch piece, I'm going to apply my adhesive to that half inch tab section first. I'm going to be placing this on the right side of the page, but I want the top and the bottom to be even with the flap on the left side. So I'm going to line everything up and adhere this down. Now I would recommend if you are not comfortable doing this the way I just did it, that you use your centering ruler and mark three and three quarter inches from the center like we did on the left hand side and then place your flap down and make sure that your top and bottom edges line up with the top and bottom edges of the other flap. I'm going to take my smaller flap and add my adhesive here to the half inch tab. Then I'm going to apply this to the right side 
of the flap already on the right so that the score line lines up with the right edge. And then I will burnish this down. This is going to become a pocket eventually, so I'm going to put the P there so that I do remember to turn that into a pocket. Now this three and a half by six and a half inch page is going to go here as a photo mat. I'm going to close this one. For now, I'm just going to place this one right here inside the base of the page. It's actually going to go here on the front. We are going to cut into the decorative paper when we place it on to make a tuck spot and we'll have that photo mat on the front page. And for now, I'm going to place an R here and an R here because I think I'm going to put ribbon here. I may come back and change this and put magnets, but for now, the idea is going to be a ribbon closure. Next, we'll come to the back side of page three and start building here. This is the eight by eight paper that I will be using for the back of page three. So I have cut this to six inches by six inches. I'll be cutting this again later, but this is the piece that I'm going to be using to start with designing on the front for page three on the back side. The first piece of cardstock measures 11 inches by six and a quarter inches. Now on the 11 inch side, I am going to score this at three and a quarter. and seven and three quarters. The next piece, it measures two and a quarter by nine inches. On the nine inch side, I'm going to score this at one half inch and eight and a half inches. Then I will use my scissors on both of these half inch tab seconds to miter all four ends. For the next piece, I have one that measures 11 inches by seven and a half inches. On the 11 inch side, I'm going to score this at four and a half. Then I have one piece that measures two and a half by seven and a half. On the two and a half inch side, I'm going to score this at one half inch on the right hand side, then I'm going to use my scissors to miter the ends on that half inch tab. I'm going to start with this piece here. I'm just going to be folding on my score lines in on both sides like this. To create a gate fold. Then this one, I'm just going to fold the smaller portion up just like this. And these two, I'm going to fold on both score lines and burnish. I'm going to start with my belly band, first applying adhesive to the half inch tab sections. Now I've already used my ruler to measure out the center on top and bottom. This is going to go at one and one eighth of an inch. From the center. I'm going to hold this down in the center and then press outward to make sure that it's adhered nice and flat to my page. Taking the trifold or gatefold piece, you're going to set this on the belly band and you're going to center it both directions. So using my centering ruler, I have this here. It's two and a quarter inches from center. And then you're going to measure in this direction and it's three and one eighth of an inch from center this direction. Once you have this on your page where it needs to go, I just took my pencil and made four dots where it needs to go, but then I'm also going to just draw a line across the top and the bottom because this section here is where I'm going to be placing my adhesive. Instead of placing it on the back of that card and trying to get it to be 
where it needs to be without adhering to the rest of the page. This is the easiest way I've found to do this. So I've got my adhesive on. Now I'm going to use those dots that I have put on the page to just line this piece right back up in the center where it needs to go. Then I will press down here to adhere this to my belly band. Now I'm going to set this aside for now and bring in my other two pieces. And I'm actually going to bring my paper trimmer in and trim a half an inch off of this piece because I made it too big when I was cutting the pieces, I should have cut a half an inch off. And then this piece is going to be here. So we're going to make a little folio booklet for underneath the belly band. So I will take my smaller section and apply my adhesive to the half inch tab. Then I'm going to take this and apply this here to this edge. Now I wanna make sure that the top and the bottoms line up straight as well. My piece did shift, so I need to make sure that it moves back in place. Then I'm going to burnish this down. Once this piece is finished, I'm going to go ahead and tuck it back here. Actually, I think I might end up tucking it this way. Like this. And then here, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do a magnet or ribbon. Um, I'm gonna put an M. I think I'm gonna do a magnet, but I might change my mind and put some ribbon. So this completes the back of page three, and that's it for this tutorial. If you are just joining the tutorial, check out the links in the description box below. They'll take you to the Scrap and Create website where you can purchase the Chow Bella Magic Spell papers and the flowers that I'm using to decorate my album, and then you can follow along. I'll see you in the next tutorial.